feel so professional. Can I start that over? Ah. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had known that professors are not as scary as they seem and that you should go to office hours because they are truly some of the sweetest people and they will definitely help you grow and learn and getting to know them is only going to help you in the future. So get to know your professors. Um, probably just how friendly people are. It's definitely different than uh, going to school back where I was back home. So I guess I wish uh, I was told that it's okay to just go meet people uh, whenever. Everybody's looking for a friend, everybody's looking for someone to talk to, so it's okay to go walk down the hall, knock on the door, and just meet new people. Oh, how accepting the people are. I knew that like Bailey was welcoming and really friendly, but I feel like you don't truly understand until you like meet your people and you connect with others and you reach out to other people and you're like, wow, I truly feel at home here. Definitely. Put yourself out there, like go to different things you wouldn't normally go to, go to fun events, because that's definitely how I made friends and how I made connections that first couple weeks of school. I would say that not every moment's going to be perfect. You might be in some awkward situations, especially if you're going to new things, trying different things. There might be a moment where you feel alone or you feel like you're the only one there, that you don't belong, but you 100% do, and that there are people who want to get to know you, and everyone is so excited to meet you. And just don't be afraid of those little awkward moments because they pay off in the end. I hope that they find that they actually belong here, like regardless of their background, because um, they have the, this opportunity like here to like, you know, explore and experience everything as best as they could. It's an opportunity I didn't have, which is why I'm super excited for them. I'm happy that they're going to go through this experience. So I know that eventually they'll find out that they belong here, and that is my hope for them as well. I hope for my campers that they can truly find a community that builds them up and that they can find comfort in this season of their life. It's a big transition, so I hope they find a lot of joy and spiritual growth in that. Definitely how important community is and like finding your community, whether it's your church or like organizations, just finding where you belong because your community is so important, especially being away from home. My hope for my campers is that they feel belonging. So I hope that they get involved. So wh whether they plug into a local church or get connected in a club or organization that they find a community and that they'll find their best friends. Um, I hope they just find a really good community, a group of people who are going to lift them up, um, both like mentally but also spiritually, um, find people to surround themselves with that's going to allow them to grow in their faith and help each other, hold each other accountable. Something I love about Waco is just how much it has changed in the past like 10 years. I have been here uh, going to games since I was just a little kid and just getting to see Waco turn into like this little kind of small town to growing just exponentially in the past few years has just been amazing and there's always something to do and always somewhere to explore. I love how many things there are to do in Waco. I mean, there are so many different activities. You can go to the Cinemark, you can go to the Dr. Pepper Museum, you can go to the Mammoth Museum. There's just a lot of different activities and you can go to a new thing every single weekend and it's just, I've still not seen all of it and I've already been here two years. Farmers markets on Saturdays are my absolute favorite thing to do on any Saturday. I will wake up early just to go to the farmers market. I love how many coffee shops there are in Waco. So many good like study spots. I personally don't like coffee, but I like the vibes. So. The two things I love about Waco are is the church system and the coffee shop. Those things are killer. We have so many good churches with so many good pastors and community members there. And no fib, no kizzy, the, the, the coffee shops go hard too. Being from Waco, I've been asked this question a lot, and usually that's what I start with. And then once they ask me to elaborate, I have nothing, guys. Like after, for fun, you go to church, you drink coffee, after that it's kinda, you're kinda cooked. But I love coffee shops and I, I love the churches here. Honestly, I love the Dr. Pepper Museum. I think it's so like original. It's it's kind of it's just a fun idea. It's able it's a, a fun thing to be able to do on the weekends. Um, my favorite Baylor tradition is probably Dia de Loso because we just get that day off in a hard uh, hard semester. My favorite Baylor tradition is Dia de Loso, and that's because this past Dia de Loso it was also the eclipse that happened at the same time. 
and it was truly an experience to say the least. Christmas on 5th is my favorite Baylor tradition. I'm such a Christmas lover, anything to do with decorations. And so the snow and the Christmas tree and all the photo ops are some of my favorite things to do. I would say sing. I, I love a good performance and it's a lot of fun to watch. And like pigskin on top of that. So like homecoming is a lot of fun. Homecoming. I love going to homecoming stroll off and then going to the bonfire right after. Baylor has so many traditions. I would say one of them has to be running the line. It's so much fun. Uh, I remember my friends and I will go super early to be in the very front of the line and we're just like in the very front of the stampede and it's just so much fun. My favorite Baylor tradition is running the line. I still have battle scars from my experience. I'll never forget falling every time. Does line camp count? Because like line camp is like one of a kind like university wise it's there's nothing like it and it's just such a good experience for the campers the leaders the people behind it all the teachers it's just such a great tradition to have heartfelt encouragement i'd like to leave with my campers is just that they know that they're loved that there's a lot of people here that are in their corner and ready to fight for them and want them to succeed, whether that's their friends, their professors, or who they find in their church homes, there's always someone there for you. I hope that they are open to try a bunch of new things that they might not otherwise enjoy or want to try so that they can find out what they're really going to be interested in this new stage of life. Don't feel the pressure of needing to fit in with everyone else. Like everyone's journey looks so different and it's gonna be so beautiful. You're gonna feel like a completely different person by the time you leave Baylor and you're just gonna look back and be like, wow, these were such transformative years and it's just life changing. I hope that they make their like lifelong best friends. I hope they find the mentors and I hope they know how loved they are by all the leaders, by everyone they're in their session with and just the campus as a whole. I really wish that they find people that they can walk with through every season of life. I hope they get plugged into a church and I hope their relationship with Jesus is stronger when they graduate than it is when they're moving in. Just to always be your true authentic self because you will find the right people that love you for you and that is just what's going to make your Baylor experience so memorable and just amazing. So always be yourself. I hope that they realize how much they are already loved and how much we've already been loving on them even before camp. Like once I got this um, position, I was already praying for them and hoping for like safe travels here and like just the goodest intentions for them because they're already so loved here and they will hopefully notice that on campus. Do I look pretty? You do. You look awesome. right, a, a support, a support, blah, 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 blah. I wish I had a blooper to share with you, but. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Peter Burris. I'm wanted in 48 states. Great, that helps me. Can I do that again? <laughs> Wait. As in, like, I can plug my rap career? I love running the line because I get super into it. I have like this bare head and I have a kilt. Something I wish I knew. I wish I like knew more where everything was at. I have Minecraft pickup lines. You must be a block of TNT because you blow me away. <laughs> we got some others. Uh, we've got a lovely one. I'm a block of sand. I'm falling for you. How about you? All right. Sick awesome. Sick him.